I'm Suzanne Brubaker from Water and Rock Kids, the creator and owner of this amazing uh, kids yoga platform here. <laughs> so I wanted to talk today a little bit about a word that we often hear associated with yoga, um, which is empowerment. And one of the words that I like to use most often when I talk about what I do, um, my, one of my driving factors in teaching yoga to children and adolescents is to help empower them. So what does that mean and how does yoga do that, right? Um, many of us think of yoga as yoga postures. And when we think of our kids doing yoga, we're like, well, do I really want to sign them up for a class where they're stretching? Is it that important? Um, so that is just a common perception of what yoga is. And yoga is so much more than that. Actually, that's just a teeny tiny bit of what yoga actually is. The postures are a great way to encourage children and adults to sit with their breath, to kind of find that control in their body, to bring some body awareness to themselves, to take that time as they're moving to really focus, try to focus on one thing and let go of the ego, let go of that monkey mind, all of those things. So postures are wonderful, but they're only a tiny bit of what yoga is. So yoga teaches us at its core, it teaches us things like ahimsa, which means non-harming, which means, which is also kindness to yourself and kindness to others. Um, it teaches us self-compassion and self-love and uh, non-judgment toward ourselves, non-judgment towards others, um, truthfulness and authenticity. All of these things are the founding principles of, of what yoga is at the core. Um, and all of that kind of requires and goes along with quieting the mind, bringing you from, from this the vrittis, the waves in your mind that keep all those thoughts going to a more relaxed state, kind of like this, maybe even getting more like here, right? So how does this help empower children? Well, yoga, by allowing children, allowing anyone who's in the class space to know that it's okay to be who you are that it's okay to sit with this time, to sit with your breath, to pause, um, all of those things. Uh, yoga just provides this space and this allowance for that. And the teacher is there to guide and support children or adults um, in sort of their journey of this internal world. In a society and world right now where everything is so externally based, you have the social media, you have the TV, you have peers, you have teachers, coaches, um, just so many voices there to give you that external feedback and that external validation, right? There is so much there that we make very little time for bringing our attention inward and learning ourselves and who we really are authentically, right? To sit and just take a few deep breaths and connect with our feelings, whether that be our physical feelings, our emotional feelings, our mental thoughts, whatever it may be, we don't give ourselves, in general, a lot of space and time to do that. And yoga does. And by doing that, we start to discover ourselves and understand ourselves and our bodies in a new way. And at the same time, the external validation, the external voices start to fade a little as we begin to understand that it's okay to be who we are and who we authentically are without so much of a need for that external validation. That is so empowering.
empowering. Can you imagine if you were a child and if you were taught that? And some of you may have been very lucky to have parents, caregivers, teachers that did teach you that. But I hear time and time again in my teacher trainings that, you know, people saying, gosh, I'm doing this because this would have changed the path of my life had I had somebody teach me this at a young age. This would have changed the way that I treated myself as I grew into an adult. All of those things. Just having someone there to guide you and support you in whatever state you are in, whatever you look like, whatever you act like, whatever you're feeling, to guide and support you and be there for you as you explore your internal world and start to quiet all of the external noise and voices around you. Feeling good about yourself, feeling strong, feeling validated within yourself, that is empowering. So today I wanted to, I talked a little bit earlier about empowerment and kind of what that means and why that word is often associated with teaching yoga to children and adolescents. Today I wanted to show you just a few things or talk to you about a few things that you can do to really start to help build those self-empowerment skills in children, right? And yoga is this is such a fundamental part of what yoga is um, that there are just so many different ways that you can explore to do this. So I really encourage you, if this is something that you feel um, drawn to or feel that the children you work with or your own children can benefit from, I strongly encourage you to do one of my kids yoga teacher trainings and and, and really go through this process of understanding this a little more and learning more tools um, to offer to the children. But we'll do a couple of them today. And the first one I wanted to talk about here for empowering children and adolescents is positive affirmations and mantras. Okay, it sounds very simple, right? We know that positive statements can actually have an effect on our psychological well-being. There's a ton of research out there that talks about um, the importance of positive statements, thinking positively, repeating positive affirmations to yourself and the benefits of that over time. And so I always include some kind of a mantra or an affirmation in my yoga classes with children and adolescents because I feel that it is so important for their young brains as they're developing to start to really incorporate this as just an everyday kind of organic type of way to speak to yourself instead of that inner critical voice, right? That we often hear, and as adults, we hear that quite a bit, right? So as children really starting to get them using those positive affirmations and using them just naturally, like no big deal, that's just what I say to myself, <laughs> um, that can become such a lifelong skill that can just cause them to have so much self-confidence, self-love, self-compassion, to feel empowered and more in control. All of those things can come down to simple positive affirmations and mantras, right? So if this is kind of new to you, there's a few ways that you can do it. I actually do like to put post-its up for my children and they respond to it. Today I will be kind is one that I will often put up. There's a lot of sibling rivalry and fighting in our house right now in this stage of development. And so I like to put those up. And that just serves as just a simple little reminder. I'm not forcing them to repeat it. I'm not forcing them to sit down and meditate, but it's just a simple reminder. Um, the other thing that I really like to use in yoga class is a simple mantra breath. So I'm gonna just show that to you here and maybe you can practice it with your children um, the more you do it, the more consistently you do it, the more natural it becomes. So keep that in mind. But for mantra breath, I like to have one hand over the belly and one over the heart. 
soften the gaze or close the eyes and sit up nice and tall. And what you want to do first here is just encourage them to feel their breath first of all. Feel the breath as you fill up your belly, as you release. Maybe you breathe through the nose, maybe the mouth. You can experiment. Decide which works best for you in this moment. Begin to feel your body release a little more. Maybe melt your shoulders down a bit. And as you take a moment to sit with your breath here, think of a word that resonates with you in this moment. In other words, think of a word that is how you wish to be or maybe how you are. A positive word such as strong. Peaceful, calm, light, any word that you can think of that brings joy to you and allows you to feel good. And once you have that word, Silently, as you inhale, I want you to say to yourself, I am. And as you exhale, say to yourself that word that you chose. And let's take three more breaths with that mantra. Take a couple more deep breaths here. And then as you feel ready, lift your gaze or open your eyes.